My name is Alan Hazard, and I'm a Narragansett native, and I'm the facilities manager for the Lake of Isles Golf Resort located in Connecticut. I'm one of a handful of traditional wampum artisans that still make the traditional beads. This is what um, everybody comes to see me for. That's uh, the Eastern Woodland Diamond. <laughs> I have lived my whole life in and around the waters of Rhode Island. Here is where I learned to do all kinds of fishing. We would spend most of our summers walking for miles along the coastline with nets and rakes looking for blue crabs and quags. These ocean shellfish have been a big part of the Narragansett history for many years and still are today. The quag shell to the Narragansetts was first nourishment. It fed us and kept us strong. Then because the inside of the shell was so beautiful, its purple color was then crafted into jewelry and wampum belts. I learned to make the wampum through watching different elders within the tribe. Sarah Helen Carolyn Fryers, my mom, and she was probably the biggest influence in what I do today as far as my wampum. Uh, she was one of the best needlepoint artisans that came from the Narragansett Nation. And I remember as clear as day her taking hours on these unbelievably detailed, tiny, oh, just amazing the way she would work with the needle. And when it was done, it was the most beautiful display of uh, needlepoint that I would ever seen, and many people would agree with me. And uh, that patience and attention to detail, I believe she handed down to me in what I try to display today in my wampum. The making of a one wampum bead was nothing short of the most amazing display of artistic ability that came out of the Narragansett's neighboring Eastern Woodland tribes. Literally thousands of these beads were made over the centuries with nothing more than raw tools, taking hours of sitting and rubbing these shells on the side of ocean stone that was tumbled in the water. Eventually, these little square pieces of shell would become round. And then when the Europeans came, what they did bring that was very useful was the steel, where we could use the fine drills to put a better hole in the wampum. And that is when we was able to make the tubular wampum beads, like I do myself today. Wampum, to us, first and foremost, was an exceptional gift from the Creator. It wasn't so much the value, but the beauty and time that was put into a wampum bead was, was just amazing. And since it was a gift from the Creator, the time and that gift, which was so special to us, was then demonstrated in that of the belts that were made. So depending upon the treaty or the agreement that we were making with the other tribe and or organization, we would make different designs in the wampum belt to depict what the treating was going to be about. The money value that came through or was that it was labeled with later um, came because the Europeans saw how we used it. But when we gave a gift of wampum, to a neighboring tribe, let's say the Narragansetts, to the Pequots, or vice versa. It was done with the utmost sincere respect for everything that they have done. So nowhere in there did we ever view it as an exchange of, of currency. It, to me, has to be understood that this gift from the Creator is nothing short of sacred. general manager and one of the golf pros came to me and he came to me and said what do you think about um, taking the wampum and making it a ball marker so that when people come to the golf course because it's a native golf course they'll get a better understanding of what wampum was and uh, 
when he first said it, because here they have wampum points over at the casino, it, it, it kind of hit me as something that I didn't want no part of because too many people uh, in the general area and schools and just through my whole lifetime see wampum as, as uh, Indian money. So it, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. But uh, I went home and I, I really thought about it because uh, now all of a sudden there's an opportunity to, to maybe educate anywhere between 20 and 30,000 people in one season because that's how many actually come through here to play golf. And in that educating, they'd, they'd get a piece of wampum for me and the wampum would tell the story of the reality of what it was and not the way it's perceived today. So it really changed my way of thinking, it really gave me an opportunity to maybe educate the people that didn't have a clue that it is a sacred item to the Narragansetts and the Pequots who have given me the opportunity to work here. And so we went back, we sat down and we spoke about it. And part of the agreement was they'd put that card in so that they could read and see what wampum means to the Eastern tribes. And in that way, I think it's a tremendous thing. And it's going over pretty good. Matter of fact, it may be a little too good because I'm tired of cutting them off from disc right about now.